Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Fun Wildest and the Broken Angel. We are in New Hiscards now. What a wonderful town it looks to be. The new town city-state. Yes. Hiscards. This is where, uh... This is a stage where you're gonna see some speed-ups, because, uh... Two areas of this stage in particular are massive. To the point where that they could literally be their own episodes by themselves, if I wanted them to be. Broad sword, yes. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, thankfully this stage does not feature any giant wildebeest ram guys, but I wasn't going to take any chances, so I said screw it, broad sword for this. Yeah, I mean, broadsword overall is pretty is pretty damn good. Uh, it it ignores invincibility frames from lying on the ground. Mm -hmm. Not to mention that the previous stage gave us tons of fire and lightning elements, so gotta abuse it. Mm hmm. And since fire isn't quite as useful for anything else, it's not going to be too much of a loss. Pretty much. Yeah, I don't remember any noises. I do remember the smells, though. What's that smell? Did you hear that? Yeah. Bunk. This guy is not at all suspicious. Oh, yeah. Oh, and we never will know who he is, actually. <laughs> Meanwhile, with his lackeys. A and B. So there's Outlaw, period, then Outlaw A, then Outlaw B. They just call him Outlaw Zero. <laughs> yeah, he's the prequel. Mm -hmm. All of them. Man, he friggin' met with them fast. So yeah, that's Blau. Guess what his name's a pun on. Uh, well, it's blue in German. <laughs> exactly. So. That, that, that's literally his name. Because he wears a blue jacket. <laughs> I didn't know they had modern currency. <laughs> but... So, all right, this is what causes the entire town to turn against us. And as such, we're gonna have Al bomb everybody. Because he has a much better aim than you. Yep. It was nice of them to all bunch up in the corner like that for us. Made it a lot simpler. But yeah, if you let the Blau there actually attack. Um, he mainly uses ice-type moves, like he can create ice pillars out of the ground to block you, or he can shoot ice spikes at you as a projectile weapon. Mm. Yeah, he's supposed to be a mini-boss, but it really doesn't take much to take him down. 
Why did that guy explode? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, as you can see, they have projectile weapons right here for us, so we're of course going to have Owl man it while we slice everyone. Oh, it does actually damage you. Yeah, it does. But I pump my defense so high it doesn't really matter. That said, defense is not what we're going to be pumping during this stage, either. Because getting damage is not the issue. The issue is our lack of HP. So, we're actually going to be pumping Vitality. I just love it that he, he, he shoots you, uh, you don't even fall on the ground, he shoots you again. And yep. like, it's okay. <laughs> I, you just juggled me in the air, I'm fine. Yeah, see? It's not so much that we're getting damaged, it's more that there's a ton of enemies damaging us. And also, alchemy really hurts sometimes if you get hit by it. But I mean, you have all of those elixirs S that you haven't used before. Pretty much. Can the enemies actually use uh, the weapons that you produce? Uh, no, they can't. That'd be messed up if they could. Alright. Oh, you're still around. And now you're not. By the way, can Al use any kind of alchemy by himself? No, he can't. He can only punch things. Mm. Oh, come on, Ad. He didn't even <laughs> call, you, call you short yet. I know, right? But he does lead us to the exit of the level, so that's nice. How dare you tell me the truth? Oh, hey. How convenient. Oh, how nice. I mean, technically, I could just alchemize the door into something else and then pass through, but... I could, ma right. I could make it into wooden puppies. Pretty much. But unfortunately, Ed's a hothead, so we're gonna have to chase this guy down. Yeah, that's really the only reason why we're doing that. <laughs> Pretty much. And no, you can't actually catch up to him, no matter how fast you go. I mean, honestly, Ed is the slowest person on Earth. But before you go, you might want to go to where you first killed the outlaw, because you get this. What does it actually do? It is actually a challenge mode. Uh, equip. You only deal one damage when you have this equipped. I don't know why you would want that, but hey, if it's your thing, I guess. Well, people hate themselves. Yeah. They also have the training manual, which gives you bonus EXP. Normally I would equip that, but... Uh, if, I, if my memory serves me correctly, you actually get a bonus item for being Not low level when you kill the boss using. in this place. Oh. So, yeah, I decide not to go for it. Anyway, what other stuff can we alchemize around these parts? Well, we can make weapons for Al, thankfully. Okay. We need them. We've seen these, and I figure, hey, why not as well take a fire sword with me? Why not? We... Uh, we can also make some new stuff, like this. 
It's a spring! And that's all it does. It's kind of worthless. What? That was really random. Yeah. Make more suction things, which we'll be abusing a lot. Make some fake ads. And, uh... Let's see. Yeah, in fact, let's have him walk around the city. We can also make fire hydrants. Which are an area of effect thing, which might come in handy a little, but unfortunately they hit, hurt you too, so I don't really bother using them. Just send an army of ads to uh, to follow the guy. They will eventually catch up. It's not like yeah. you're working on it. Pretty much. But yeah, look at all this stuff they provide us that we didn't need. Oh, and we can also make our favorite. Yes. The pogo stick. We're not going to use it just yet, though. No. Not, not yet. We still got to, like, explore and show off other stuff we can do, after all. And plus, we need to fill up on elixirs since we used a few. We used, like, two since the beginning of the game. It, it, it's okay. It's okay, Nico. And see, there are enemies lurking. Ah, uh, that's cute. He thought he was invisible. Indeed. Thank you. We already got a fire element to replace the one we used. Isn't that nice? Here, I'll make it easier on yourself. <laughs> oh, I love... I, I love... Kileshi sa I love sound effects like that. Yeah. Because we're finally getting some wind element. Goodness. Yeah, Al will park his ass on a on a uh, weapon like that until he runs out of it. Ow, what the fuck? What the hell? How did you... <laughs> what? <laughs> Al, we need to talk. <laughs> yeah, it turns out my brother Alphonse is fifth dimensional demigod. That's classic Al for you. <laughs> Wind element, nice. Uh, uh, speaking of that, our army of heads is doing a good job distracting everyone. It's it's dumb how good they actually are at what they're doing. <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, I shouldn't have called Al because an enemy just kind of spawned over there. Yeah, that's another thing with this uh, level is that in half the areas, enemies will respawn like normal ones, not just gargoyles. Mm. It's strange. So you're kind of just meant to swat through and move. Sort of like a Dynasty Warriors game, I guess, is what they're kind of going for. I don't know what these guys are doing. I mean, those two ads were keeping them in check. They were just so scared. <laughs> right. Uh, all of those random things. Alright, so now let's collect on our elixir here. Oh, and we can also do level 2 landmines. What's the difference between level 2s and level 1s? Well, level 2s, when you re-alchemize them, you can actually make 5 pop up instead of 3. Unfortunately, I couldn't exactly show that here because, well, they stack on top of each other. <laughs> so, yeah. Go, my Eds, and scavenge the area. Anyway, here's the pogo, and here's something beautiful about it. You can hop on it even when you're already wielding a weapon. Yeah, you showed it before. Yeah, so they do. Uh, they do actually want you to use it. The game is they. The game is all designed around using the pogo stick. Totally. So yeah, we're just gonna go now. We're gonna pogo our way to victory. You need to put uh, that that scene from Powerpuff Girls on top of uh, on top of it, just kind of sliding. <laughs> this is the greatest. I am determined to get mileage out of this thing any way I possibly can. How far you can uh, can you actually jump with it? Um, you have to use its attack. You can actually bounce pretty high. Unfortunately, you can't carry pogos into other areas. Period. It turns out. Ah. Uh, I thought it was just locked off from the cave, but no, it's locked off from transitioning at all. That's a damn shame. 
That's so bullshit. I know, can you, right? in, can you enchant the pogo stick with wind element? Or I fire wish. element? You, you, can't, you can't alchemize it with anything, unfortunately. Oh. Hmm, spiffy. Anywho, I'm not so stupid as to go charging head first, so, uh... And here's a dagger if we want to use one. I'm gonna stick with my fire sword, though. Since you don't uh, have enough attack to go around. Pretty much. And yeah, if you catch two in between the suction things, as we see there, pretty much nothing happens. They just stick to whichever one comes first. I, w I wish change. they were, like, uh, they were, like, stuck in... Side of a tornado, like you create a tornado. Right. And then they just shift to another you. dimension. Al, you're wasting ammo. Whatever. Oh yes. Oh baby. Oh yes. Ow! Okay. Here we go. E <laughs> this is the, the Oh god, this game. An army of Edge shall sweep through the city. Go my Edge, go my minions. Oh nice. Up, uh, that see, more people showed up. And I'll sit there. That was too good of a shot. Seriously. He's so good. wanted to make a landmine there, but I didn't let go too soon. I am ashamed. Sorry, eh? No problem. Oh no, one of the ads has fallen. We only have like 17 left. His life force shall sustain me though, in the form of an elixir. Sweet, wind element. I wanted to drop a pillar on somebody. I failed. I failed. That ad distracted him too well. Mm -hmm. So while Al takes that, I'm gonna go back and get our best friend. Oh yeah. Let's do this. I will show off the amazing power of the Pogo. Ooh, that's pretty. <laughs> I love uh, this. Too bad it doesn't uh, doesn't damage them on the ground. I uh, wish that would have made it the best weapon. I mean, yeah, it's I can't already juggle, unfortunately. No, like what they could have done was like you you jump you uh, you smash them into the air and then you jump on top of them just just sort of you know uh, impaling them to the ground right like build the entire game around the pogo combos <laughs> all right so we leveled time for some vitality there we go. And Al, you continue getting nothing because you're fine on your own. <laughs> Another guy drop. Which means more time to pogo. Oh yeah. But yeah, the pogo is not a very effective weapon. It doesn't have much of an attack. Because it's just really funny. It's and we can't go with and it. And it's the best way to get around. Mm -hmm. Definitely. 
So next time we'll be in the train yard, which is an ultra big X section of the level. See you there.